Hello everyone, and welcome to the Cotswold Wine School's Tuesday Tip. There's an obvious difference between white wine and red wine. Color. But how can you best describe the difference in flavor from one wine to the next? It's best to start by breaking down general flavor characteristics. Beyond color, you're looking at tannin, acidity, aromas, flavors, alcohol, body, and sweetness or lack thereof. Beginning with tannins, I mean, what are tannins? It's mostly more perceptible in red wines and mainly comes from the skins of grapes or the stems. It's that grippy mouth drying feeling like a really strong tea. An example of a red wine with super high tannins would be a Barolo. And the opposite end of the spectrum, think of a young Pinot Noir or Beaujolais. Next, we have acidity. It seems pretty self-explanatory. You expect a Sauvignon Blanc to have high acidity, but acidity is often referred to with buzzwords like tart, crisp, zingy, zippy, fresh. I personally like to measure a wine's acidity by the drool factor. Just like biting into a fresh lemon, it instantly makes your mouth pucker and want to drool. Again, the opposite end of the high acidity could be a white wine such as a Viognier or a Gewürztraminer. Aromas. Again, what does your wine smell like? For newcomers to wine, the first answer is always wine. But dig deeper. Are there floral aromas like roses or elderflower? Or maybe even spicy smells like black pepper or fennel? Each grape variety is known for producing different aromas in the final wine. And each winemaker can choose to use oak or not, which might also give you those aromas of vanilla or barbecue. Now we can't talk about aromas without talking about flavors. What you smell in a wine will generally indicate what you might taste in that wine too. Not always the case, but it does go hand in hand with how you taste food. If a strawberry smells like a strawberry, you would expect it to taste like one too. Now let's look at alcohol. Different wines have different levels of alcohol. Whilst you expect a red wine to be higher in alcohol than white wines, this again is not always the case. Alcohol is easy to assess based on the burn factor. If you take a shot of tequila, you get that almost chest compression or burn in the back of your throat a wine such as an Aussie Shiraz or a Spanish Red from Priorat might not hit you that hard, but at 15 to 16% alcohol by volume, you'll know that it has high alcohol. But there are more lower alcohol wines available. Beyond looking at the label to find out, that burn factor will help you to determine whether your wine is higher or lower in alcohol. A quick look to body. We're talking more about viscosity and mouthfeel. A Pinot Grigio, for example, has a lower body than, say, port. Port will coat your mouth and has more weight to it. This is important when thinking about wine and food pairings. Beyond thinking about what grows together goes together, you might want your wine to have the same weight as your food. A big, heavy pasta dish might demand a big, heavy wine. But if you're thinking smoked salmon canapes, a big heavy red might not suit as well. And finally, sweetness. Yes, a Sauternes dessert wine will be sweet, and a Cabernet Sauvignon from California will not. We can detect sweetness from the tip of our tongue. Sticky toffee pudding is instantly recognizable as being sweet, but it's the in-between levels of sweetness that can be hard to detect. This is especially true when looking at champagnes and proseccos. It can be a little confusing, but to briefly break it down, extra brut will be the driest, no noticeable traces of sweetness. Then brut, which can still be pretty dry. Extra dry, and this is the confusing part, is actually a tiny bit sweet. And a wine labeled do will definitely be sweet. It can help to take notes, even short ones on the wines that you most enjoy. This can help you to branch out and look to find similar new wines that also share those same flavor characteristics. Of course, 
What really matters is whether you like it or not. Thank you for joining us and we'll see you next time.